When you talk about power, you talk about this man. The following contest is a Hell in a Cell match. And it's for the Intercontinental Championship. Making his way to the ring from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds. One of the most pounds, impressive athletes Bobby ever to step foot Lashley. in a WWE ring. A successful mixed martial artist. Lashley is finally back where he belongs in WWE. Oh, to that point, Corey, this is a man of Bobby Lashley who spent 10 years away from WWE, but he had unfinished business. He felt like he had more he wanted to accomplish, and so far, Bobby Lashley is on his track. champion, one-time WCW Tag Team Champion, oh, and by the way, a WWE Universal Champion. In fact, From Silsby, Texas, weighing in at 360 pounds, Mark Henry. Guys, we're just about ready to lock the door and get this Hell in a Cell match underway. And as that door locks, Cole, I can't help but wonder the level of regret these three competitors will likely be feeling. And so it begins. Despite triple threats being every man for himself, history has shown that the match's dynamics can create unlikely alliances. A participant must be ready to endure double team attacks at any time. The unpredictability of a triple threat match makes this almost impossible to predict. Any one of these three can walk out of here the winner. Man. Oh my! Nailed it! Oh, nasty impact! Shoulders on the mat. It's going to take more than that to keep his shoulders down. That's either sheer genius or complete stupidity, Cole. Larian! Oh, damage to the body. It's a bit off his game here. 
He came into this match expecting a fight, and that's exactly what he's getting. This is nothing, Cole. As this match marches on, he's going to be put through a heck of a lot more than this. He seemed more motivated than ever heading into this match, which makes me think he still has plenty of fight left in him. He's making a statement here with this attack. What a strike. Right on the mark. Goldberg possesses immeasurable... Here we go. Harsh impact. Is that it? Is it over? off some of his speed there. Byron alluded to Goldberg's motivations for his return. To millions of people around the world, Goldberg is a real-life superhero. His return was able to inspire a new generation in the W. Here he goes. Ooh, what impact. But he's got to capitalize now. The situation just got real bad for Goldberg. He's starting to stumble here. This is a dangerous spot for him to be here in this triple threat match. If this is the only damage he walks away from this match with Cole, he should consider himself very lucky. But let's face it, that's just not going to happen. Not when you're inside the cell. This is exactly the opening his opponent was looking for. It wasn't easy to find, but hey, he found it. Finally. Of course, guys, we all remember when the Hell in a Cell debuted in 1997 and how harrowing the structure looked. But it's worth noting that the cell has become even more ruinous in recent years. Some might consider just getting a title opportunity as a success, but I assure you, this superstar will settle for nothing less than taking home the gold. The no disqualification stipulation in a triple threat match can take the battle in many directions, and each one is more unexpected than the next. A superstar can be attacked with a weapon and can be assaulted by an individual who's not even signed to compete in the match, and the contest will continue because everything's legal. To know that someone could bludgeon you with a sledgehammer, lay you out with a chair, or beat you with a kendo stick, or you can be attacked by someone who's not in the match, and the referee can't do anything about it. It makes things very difficult if you're on the receiving end of assaults like that. Boom! <laughs> Boom right in the button! And what a reversal from Goldberg. I can't help but be impressed by these three superstars, guys. This has been absolutely intense. I've seen countless triple threat matches over the years, and I can confidently say that this one ranks right up there with some of the all-time best. You've got to believe this one's over. Beautiful technique. And he's heading back in. How these superstars are even still in this match is beyond me. Especially given how intense the match has been. Back between the ropes. He might have it. Big headbutt! But can he follow up here? Hopefully Goldberg can recover. Finds its mark. Oh boy, he is rolling. He's looking at it. This could be the beginning of the end. Goldberg down with the jackhammer. Now it's time to capitalize. Two, three. Goldberg gets the win. That match deserves another look, folks. These guys showed flashes in this match, but flashes don't exactly set the world on fire, as these highlights show very well. 
Some pretty good give and take in this match, as these highlights show. I know the match was solidly entertaining, but I really hope these guys would take it to the next level. Regardless, nobody's asking for their money back. despite absorbing a huge amount of punishment there. Wow, when you pick up a pinfall victory over somebody like that, you've done something right. As usual, this Philadelphia crowd is beyond boisterous tonight. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in.